I think um, if you want our students to really get to know what is going on, they have to have a personal experience. I, in my classes, for example, I, I use the, the concept of storytelling, you know, and again, as I said, authentic stories. But on the other hand, I also feel that um, we can teach all our students all we want, theoretically, but unless there's something practical that they are doing to, to actually make what they are learning much more uh, practical and personal, then we are not getting anywhere. Um, so one of the things that I do, I always incorporate uh, um, a kind of a project of activism in my class. Um, one of the things I tell my students to do is to use the semester and do something outrageous. You know, I use kind of outrageous act. You know, do something to make people think, you know, about something that you are passionate about. And that really has revolutionized how students learn in my classes. Uh, they go out there, they think of something that they are passionate about, and they go out there and plan how they can be able to tell people and be, be you know, be stand for that. Um, and it's amazing to see the beginning of the semester, they are like, what are you talking about, you know? And, but at the end of the semester, you see them really coming very, very powerfully saying, this is what we did. We went out there, and this is the results that we got. Um, the other thing I do also, um, I, I have organized a study abroad program to Africa. Um, I take students to Tanzania. And one of the things, of course, is that I would want my students to really experience third world countries. And I, I, I support all the uh, you know, uh, study abroad programs. But I also feel that there's something different when students go to a third world country you know, and, and be able to experience the difference in terms of economy, in terms of ways of life. And um, the few times I've taken students to Tanzania, they have come up back here changed. <laughs> you know, some of them you know, appreciate what they have. And at the same time, also, they, they feel that they have this burden to do something to change the world. Um, I have had students who are social work students, and they came back and, and said they, uh, they wanted to actually pursue international social work, meaning that they would want to go out there uh, and uh, into other countries rather than just doing work here. Um, so the challenge right now for higher education is really to um, create programs or activities that really give the students the opportunity to actually experience the world out there. As I said before, there's no way we can talk about being in a global village if we are still divided and our students don't even know what is out, out there. <clears throat> the other thing also is um, one of, the, one of the, the major goals of St. Cloud State University, for example, is to actually um, you know, prepare our students to be global citizens. Um, you can't do that until you also you bring the global to the classroom. Even as you try to bring the classroom out into the global, you also have to bring the global into the classroom and bringing these different ex experiences. Um, discussing, for example, my project, because I never separate the, what I do with the children in Africa from what I teach. I mean, those are some of the things, the discussions that we have. That alone also gives the students an opportunity to really understand what's going on. And, and that becomes very powerful. So um, again, the challenge for higher education right now is to create programs and to really have passionate professors who are really uh, into how they can be able to uh, introduce the world to our students.